Hello, everybody. It's time for some more good old Pokemon Legends Arceus. We're here with the post game once again, doing the sort of bonus quest in the DLC that we got. We just checked out the massive mass outbreaks from the new content that we got uh, just yesterday, and or I guess a couple days ago, whenever this video releases. I don't know. Anyway, so we're going to continue with these sort of requests. We got Mai and Arezu here. Oh, Seeker, Mrs. Kalab was waiting for you. Come on in. Yeah, so I don't really know where these quests are going to go, but uh, we still have yet to beat the post game. So we're going to kind of keep going through this quest line and just kind of see where things go from here. What are all those paintings? Oh my gosh. <laughs> all right. Hey, ladies, old ladies. <laughs> I heard all about those massive mass outbreaks. I bet there's some sort of Pokemon festival. Festival? It's like what I heard from a customer who came here from Johto. Apparently on nights of the full moon, Clefairy get together and dance. Yeah, we saw that actually. It's basically a gathering of Pokemon that are all, that only happens when certain conditions are met. Sounds pretty similar to Massive Mass Outbreaks, don't you think? I guess. So, Massive Mass Outbreaks could be a festival for Pokemon to enjoy the rainstorms! I... I guess? Do they enjoy it, though? Didn't Munchlax think it was... Wasn't Munchlax worried, though? I don't know. It seems to me you're still biting your tongue, Arezu. Have you heard anything else? Well, I did hear something weird from a Diamond Clan friend of mine. What was it? Uh, they say they saw a mass outbreak of Alphas in the Crimson Mirelands. All of Alphas? But seriously, do Alphas ever gather in groups? My friend must have made a mistake, right? Alphas grouping together. If this is part of a massive mass outbreak, it sounds dangerous. Munch! <laughs> Even the Lady of the Ridge would be no match for a mass outbreak of Alphas. It's natural to worry about the unknown. That's why Seeker is investigating this for us, no? To put our concerns to rest. Yeah, I guess. You're right. It seems our next step is to investigate the Crimson Mirelands. Okay, massive mass outbreak in the Mirelands. Gotcha. So is that gonna be... What, what would it be? I know I saw in the trailer that we had like a massive mass outbreak of like Electrode. And then I think there was one of like something else too. Are you ready to head with the Crimson Mirelands with me? Sure. Are you gonna be accompanied with us with all with all in these quests? That's awesome. Excellent. Then let us be off to the Mirelands camp for some massive mass outbreak research. Okay. Here we go, back to the frickin' Mirelands. And it is raining, that means there's probably some massive mass outbreaks to check out. It seems a massive mass outbreak has sprung up here in the Crimson Mirelands too. Let's try to determine if this phenomenon occurs here as it does in the Obsidian Fieldlands. Hey ho, little people! No need to fret, Melly has arrived! You know, I was just thinking about Melly for no reason, and look at Munch, he's like, oh, this guy, Munch. What do you want? I heard rumors that you've been investigating massive mass outbreaks or some such. But I, Melly, have already solved the mystery. All that remains is to gather evidence. Wow, dude, that's crazy. You're so awesome, Melly. Not bad, Melly. Yes, I'm just that good. The reason these Pokemon have been mysteriously gathering in rainstorms is... Come on, Melly, don't hold it out. Say it. To give praise to the great Melly, naturally. <laughs> Munch? <laughs> Just the dead silence once again. Don't look so sour, you two! Where are my pupils? I realize it's a difficult truth to accept right away, but the awe I inspire, as both sun and shadow to Adamant, it is clear it's clearly apparent to Pokemon. And as thanks for your adorable efforts in proving my theory true, I'll give you this a generous reward. I just realized how tall he is. Go on, take them! They're Argov berries, quite a rarity here in Hisui, you know. Ah, could I grow these in the farm? Which, by the way, I did do farming. I just never actually knew that was a thing. You can actually farm for, like, na nature mints and berries. It's kind of cool. Although I've yet to check it out too much. I just kind of planted some mints and then never came back. As for why these Pokemon gather during rainstorms, well, that's surely to represent how I'm simply overflowing with wonderful qualities. And with that nugget of wisdom, I shall be off. Toodaloo! <laughs> Munch! <laughs> Munch wants the berries. He was very shy and withdrawn as a child, until one day he announced he was going to work hard to help Adamant. I was happy to see him grow more optimistic, but I fear he may have taken that to extremes. <laughs> That's funny. But Agav berries, where could he have found them? Munch! Is he eating some? Munchlax, did you just eat some of the Agav berries? Five? Wait, hold on, how, did, how many did you give me? Ten? <laughs> munch lags. Frickin' munch. Munch munch! Oh? 
Arc phone moment? Whoa. It gleamed? What's this? It looks like your fancy map is responding to Munchlax again. I guess so. Yo, check it out. It's Angry Bird. Yo! Oh, 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 oh. What? Shinies? Okay. Oh, alphas. Alpha petals. <laughs> That's hilarious. So using these berries, you can tell. There's grottles? Yo, I haven't even caught a single grottle. We should catch out the grottles. What the heck? Hmm, now the map shows not only outbreak locations, but the Pokemon there as well. That's awesome. What does this mean, Munchlax? Uh, uh, munch? Mun! Okay, you can give Aga berries to Mize Munchlax, specifically her Munchlax? That's awesome. To find out what Pokemon are appearing. Why the- why does the Munchlax do that? Okay. Pokemon icons with sparkle mark the locations of special mass outbreaks. Well, those with the berry indicate mass outbreaks you may be able to receive Aga berries. Okay, that's awesome. That's so cool. So if we keep feeding Munchlax Aga berries, we'll be able to learn more about these outbreaks. Munchlax, what exactly is it you're trying to get us to understand? Munchlax is secretly Arceus. <laughs> Whatever this all means, please and guess, investigate three massive mass outbreak locations in the Crimson Mirelands, so we can com uh, compare those uh, these outbreaks to those we found in the Obsidian Fieldlands. All right, you got it, Mai. Let's do this. So we have Grottle, Petalil, and then let's do Yanma. No, let's do Teddy Ursa, because I already have a shiny Teddy Ursa. Let's let's just get the let's get the Grottle first. Let's get to the Grottle, and then we'll move on from there. Oh, it's so freaking foggy. I can't see a darn thing. Oh, we're actually near the location of the uh, the Torterra, the Alpha Torterra. Oh, oh, there are there's just regular Torterras too. What the frick? That's so crazy. Hey guys, Wait, there's more Torterras than Gr dude. <laughs> Show this to a Pokemon player in like 2008, they'll go insane, dude. They'll actually go insane. Okay, now they're mad at me. That's not good. Again, there's no areas to hide, so I'm gonna bust out the freaking smoke bombs. Here we go. No sign of stopping. Good. Come on, Torterra. You stay in the Ultra Ball, please. Ice Beam, one shot. It'll one shot. It's four times effective, surely. What? Really? Ooh, frostbite. <laughs> It's like the second time this place that it happened. Oh, we need to see you even use Wood Hammer. Let's go. This is great. We're getting freaking... Oh. Well, you did that to yourself. <laughs> this is so crazy, dude. I can't believe that this is a thing in a Pokemon game. Literally a ton of, like, starter grottles just chilling. And, like, you can just catch them whenever you freaking want. May going a bit longer. Okay. Gotcha. Okay, the grottle one is done. Let's move on to... Ooh, do we go to the Alphas or the Shiny? I'll go to the shiny Teddy Ursa first. Or no, I guess I'll go to the Yanma. Yeah, I'll go to the Yanma. Why not? I like Yanma more than Teddy Ursa. Here we go. Find the Pokemon that were reported. Uh, I do not see any shinies. Maybe it's just an increased chance of shinies? It doesn't really say. Unfortunately, I've already caught all the Yanmas I need. Uh, and I need to catch some in the evening. Which, it's not evening time right now. But whatever. Uh, are they all mad at me? They're all mad at me. They all want to kill me. This sucks. Oh? Oh, it's evening time. It's evening time. This is good. Now I can get my evening Yanma requests. I can get them finished. Maybe. They actually want to stay in the ball. There we go. That's one that stayed in the ball. How many more do I have to catch in the evening? Uh, three. Well, it looks like he's the last one, so that kind of sucks. Surely it's evening time. Yes, stay in the ball. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Uh, new horde seems to have formed. Well, that's fine. What? Oh, Yanmega. Same spot? Look at all the on Megas. Oh my gosh. Ah, oh, so many. How'd they find me? How'd that one get mad? Yeesh. Yeah, they all want to kill me. I'm out. I'm out for now. See you guys. Well, they're not exactly from a mass outbreak, but these are just regular Yanmas, so I might as well get them while they're in the evening. Come on. That's the last Yanma that I need in the evening? There we go. Okay. Surely that's my two evening Yanma quests. 19. Show me 20, please. Yeah, there we go. Let's go. Yeah, so unfortunately this energy probably just be like, hey, we gotta go back to the, uh, the thing, yes? Yeah, okay, we gotta go back to Jubilife City again. That's okay, let's report to Laventon about all that frickin' Pokemon that we caught. And you know what? While we're at it, I need to buy frickin'- no, I don't wanna see my Pokemon. I need to buy Pokeballs. I have plenty of money. I don't wanna rise, I wanna buy- oh my gosh, I'm so stupid. Here we go. I want to buy some Ultra Balls. I know this is a waste of money because I can. I should be spending this on Baggin, but I'm too lazy to go out and farm for like 
you know, the stuff. I just need wing balls a lot, because I need to, like, stay away from Pokemon so I can catch them easier. Here we go. Gosh. This literally makes the Pokedex quest so much easier. Literally so much easier. I love this update. Oh my gosh. So good. Like, even if you had asked me, like, hey, how could you make Legends Arceus better? I wouldn't even be able to tell you. I'd just be like, I don't know. We're probably gonna get rank 10 from this, considering how easy it's making us, or how easy it lets us get points. Wait, this is just a regular mass outbreak. No, I need, I need it to be a, <laughs> I need it to be a massive mass outbreak, not a mass outbreak. Hold on. Hmm. Now it's Golduck. See, we don't need this. We need massive mass outbreaks, not mass outbreaks. So I guess I'm just gonna keep going to bed, then waking up. That's really the only thing I can think of. It's still freaking Golduck. Oh, you know what? Maybe, uh, like, like we found out before, the game doesn't want to update unless we talk to Laventon. So maybe we have to go in and out of the field lands or whatever. Because every time we talk to Laventon, the game updates for some reason. I don't know why the game is like, oh, whenever you talk to Laventon, everything is updated now, so. I guess we just gotta go back and forth and, uh, between the Crimson Mylands till one shows up. A little weird, but okay. Yep, that changed it. Okay, we just gotta, we gotta do exactly what Mai said. We have to keep coming back and forth until a mass outbreak, well, breaks out. Uh, I've done this like almost 15 times. I'm getting sick of it. Just spawn already. Yes, okay, thank goodness. Gosh, that took like, that took like 15 back and forths. Jeez, like 15 minutes worth of back and forth. That was a long time, dude. Oh, okay. Hopefully something good. I don't even care if everything's a mystery, because like Munchlax, I don't, I'm not gonna give Munchlax the rest of my berries. I'll, I don't know, plant more or get more. I don't know. Either way, I'm just gonna go encounter one of these, even because we probably have plenty of time. So I can encounter multiple, but I think uh, for like the, the next missions, I'll just complete them. Oh, this is adorable, Tangela. Uh, what is my Tangela count actually? If I can actually stop pressing too many buttons. Yo, investigate. Tangela, I've already caught plenty. Yeah, so I, I can afford to be picky now, but like with the later quest, I think I'm not gonna be as picky because I wanna finish the quest before things disappear, if that makes sense. Is this Teddy Ursa? Yep, it's Teddy Ursa. Okay, I do not care. And there's Cyndaquils! Oh, this one's Cyndaquils! Yo, this is awesome! Mass outbreak of Cyndaquils, dude? Hold on, can I give them food? Uh, no, I just have to, I just have to catch them. Okay, stay back. Oh, that's a Quilava there. Oh, they ran away. Quilava, no! Why, Quilava? Please. Come on now. Yes! Caught the Quilava. Woohoo! First Quilava caught. Okay. Now it's time for you little Cyndaquil. Yo, stop hopping around like crazy. Get back here! Ah, oh, they ran away. You know what? That's fine. Oh my gosh, they're so small. I can't hit them. <laughs> they're too tiny. Yes. Up here before. Yo! That went right through him! Like, what do you want? What the frick? Their hitboxes had to be like. Dude! Clearly, I've like hit them so many times. What is happening? They just disappear. Five of five. Yes, there we go. Oh, there's another one. Might as well catch him. Maybe we'll get a good nature on him or something. <laughs> See, this is why wing balls are broken. I love wing balls. Or jet balls are to call them. Okay. Yes, there we go. We report back to mine that we have five freaking Cyndaquils. That's awesome, dude. I've done it, my. I have Cyndaquils now. Are you proud of me? I have like six of them. And a Quilava. And. Oh, hello. I hear you finished your investigation in the Crimson Mirelands. Well done, Seeker. Thanks. Irida is here to help us. What happens twice will happen thrice, or so they say. Massive mass outbreaks seem likely to occur in the Cobalt Coastlands and other areas as well. So I've been discussing the issue with Irida. It's weird that you're not discussing with Adamin. Why don't we demonstrate to her what has been keeping us so busy? We can turn our investigation to the Cobalt Coastlands next. Munch! Munchlax, please don't eat my berries. Ah, yes, Munchlax. I know it's been keeping you busy is eating. <laughs> Don't worry, you'll get your berries. Munch. But I still wonder, what lies behind Munchlax's strange reaction to eating Agav berries? How does he know which Pokemon are gathering where during a massive mass outbreak? Uh, he's <laughs> kind of a genius? I don't know. Perhaps. I mean, I trained him, you know, he must be. Hopefully our investigations will shed some light on this mystery. Yeah. Well, let me offer you a hand. I've learned some mass, uh, some things about massive mass outbreaks myself. Really? I knew the leader of the Pro Clan could help us. <laughs> okay, is Adam and just not? Okay, whatever. Mysterious goings on in Vastasui pique my interest after all. Yeah, mine too. And on top of that, we're friends. I'll always come ask. Uh, I'll always come if you ask for help. Oh, that's nice. But you almost. <laughs> yeah, since when were you guys friends, by the way? <laughs> 
We've seen each other around before, but after talking more at the Harmony Festival, we found we agreed on a lot of things. Such as how exactly we think Adamant is doing as a leader. And we decided we'd help each other out, despite being from different clans. Okay, that's cool. Anyway, that's how I got involved with the investigation in the coastlands. And I heard from Iskan and Lena that they'd both seen something that was like a mass outbreak, but stranger. Okay then, what are your thoughts on these massive mass outbreaks, Irida? Hmm, let me just sniff my hands for a second. <laughs> well, I wonder what about them causes Pokemon to flock together this way. Perhaps there's been some shift in space because of Mighty Palkia's appearance? Maybe? I'd certainly be glad to have more Pokemon around if it would help Hisui flourish. But it's too early to conclude it's all for the best. Hordes of strong Pokemon could be dangerous. Also, this has made me think of something. So apparently in the new trailer for Pokemon Scarlet and Indigo, or Violet, I keep saying Indigo, I don't know why. Uh, it's Violet, right? I forget, I think it's Violet. Um, you can get Hisui and Zoroark. Like there was a screen cap with Hisui and Zoroark in it. So I'm guessing there's gonna be a way for you to get Hisui and Mons in the new game. So that'll be cool. I don't know if it's because of the space-time rift pulling them into that. I don't know. I'm gonna guess that's what it is, but we'll just have to see. Uh, I'll, I'll be sure to warn Lena to be careful too. Okay, off you go. Bye-bye. <laughs> Munchlax. <laughs> I'll head to Jubilee Village once I wrap up a few things here. We can meet at the front gates when it's time to set out on our next investigation. Dude, I love this. <laughs> I was literally just, I know I said it multiple times, but I was like, yo, where's the my screen time at? And now we're literally getting all the my screen time we could ever want. And like, uh, no, you, no, frick you, much like, sorry, I'm not giving you my berries. <laughs> not now, at least. Sorry, buddy. Okay, Leventon. Caught six Pokemon. Yeah, I did, Leventon. Cyndaquils. Look at how big Quilava's eyes are. Oh my gosh, I did not know they were that big. What the heck? Okay. Well, we got some fun quests. We should get some fun Pokedex points. We might even get rank 10 just because of this how close are we look at how close we are to rank 10 just because of this is awesome this truly is like the greatest update i don't like how uh you can't really complete the three investigations within the time limit at least that's a little annoying they I mean, will try for the cobalt coastlands i don't think it'll happen though yeah like i will definitely not be picky when it comes to that anyway hi my how's it going the next step of our investigation is to look for massive mass outbreaks in the cobalt coastlands thanks as always for the help yeah no worries request 98 Coastlands time. Right then, let's set off for beachside camp. Are you ready? Yeah, let's go. I'm sorry. I don't know what it is about that munchlax that I just find so intriguing. Oh, it's uh you. I forgot your name. Garrick, that's right. What a fine surprise. Meeting you two while out fetching supplies for our settlement. Hey, how's it going? Been a while, dude. Kalava filled me in. You're looking into mass, uh, mass outbreaks that happen during rainstorms? Well then, I'll tell you what I recommend. Sticky globs. I have a few of those. Um, it's 30. Jeez, thanks, I guess? It's quite a few. Hitting a Pokemon with a sticky glob will slow it right down. I bought the recipe at the Craftworks myself, by request from the settlement. Thanks, dude. I'd better get back to the Icelands. Not that it'll take much time with the well-trained legs like these. Yeah, good luck. It's quite a ways, I guess. Interesting. The Pro Clan is recommending the Galaxy Team sticky globs. Right then, let's set off for the beachside camp. All right, let's do that indeed. And here we are. Time to go catch some Mons. Oh, it seems we've arrived in time to catch another massive mass outbreak. Yeah, always just in time, it seems. Remember Garrick's advice. Perhaps those sticky globs could be a big help. Now then, let's begin our research. Indeed. You can let me know if you wish to f uh, give Munchlax some Agav berries as well. It will grant you a bit of insight into the Pokemon gathering in these massive mass outbreaks. Yeah, I won't do that, but cool. Cool if Munchlax can somehow just do that. So we're gonna rush straight over to the first one. And no matter what it is, even if it's like garbage mons, I'm just gonna get it done because I want this quest done more than anything. Yo, it's print blob, yo, that's hype. What the heck? This is actually perfect. Yo, print blob moment. How did they all f Really? I caught I tried to catch one of you and you all are like, ah, time to kill. How did you all notice? Like what the heck? I was in the grass, dude. Four. Four print clubs. I wish there was. Oh my gosh. I really wish there was freaking uh, AOE in this game. Oh my gosh. Sorry. I have to kill you all because I can't. I don't have enough time. Can you please stay in that ball? Dude, that's a third ball. Oh my gosh. Why do they not want to stay in the ball? Stay in the darn ball. I need to catch at least one of you, please. I don't have a print club yet. I haven't evolved into you yet. Come on. 
Seriously, what is wrong with you? Just stay in the freaking ball, you dumb penguin. That's it, I'm running. All right, you guys have a hive mind, apparently. Go get the food. Get the food and ignore me, please. So I can catch you all. Come on now. Don't hive mine. Yes, here we go. This is better. I'm throwing ultra balls because I just want to catch at least one. Please, thank goodness. Jeez. Oh, there we go. How are they noticing me? This is dumb. Stay in the ball, please. Yes. There we go. Okay, Proponent Pokemon seems to be gone. Let's move on to the next one. Hopefully it actually has easy catch rate Pokemon and not freaking Primplops that just do not want to stay in the ball. Hopefully. Oh, it's freaking Staravia. Okay, I'm sorry. It can't be the Staravia. I'm not doing the Staravia. It at least has to be something that I haven't completed. Shows no sign of stopping. Okay, that's good. That's good news. That's something at least. There's one right down here too. It's Togetic. Oh, that's so good. That's so good. I don't even think I've caught a single Togetic yet. Yes. Yeah, I suck. Yes. Come here, Togetic. Togetics. <laughs> There we go, see? I haven't even caught one yet. Now I can just keep chucking balls like crazy because they don't have aggressive disposition. This is awesome. This is great. Look at that, they're even flying away if they don't want to stay caught. And a Togekiss too. Okay, well, I'll let the Togekiss. Yo, out of my way. <laughs> Togekiss is angry, but that's fine. Yo, where you going, dude? Caught while they're in the air, that's fine. You, you just stay over there. Oh my gosh, who attacked me? Who was it? Yo, come back. Was it you? Ow, don't kill me, please. Prescience, help. Please, <laughs> I'm gonna die to a freaking toga kiss or whatever. Okay, uh, just I don't know. Flash cannon. I don't know. I don't know if it'll kill. I always think flying resists steel. I don't know why. I keep thinking that's like, oh, that'll be neutral effective. It's not. It really just isn't. Okay, I gotta find the last toga kiss. It's over there. It's on. Yo, it's going so far away. Come back. Got it. Okay. Are there any more? There's one over there. Yes, another one that flew all the way away. Yo, where are you going? Stop moving. Moving so far. Now stay in the ball, please. Come on. No, I said ball. That ball, uh, fly away, that's good too. That works. Okay, good, 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 good. Yes, let's go to, uh, uh, right there. Right there, right there, that, that one's fine. Sure, let's just go. Let's get to any one of them. I just wanna finish. More than anything, I just don't wanna have to go in and out of an area a hundred times. Okay, Togepi's, this works too. I think I already have Togepi, like all the po Pokemon Togepi's I need to catch, but you know what, that's okay. But I think I need to catch like small ones or something. And if they want to just run away, that works for me too. Rainstorm may go on a bit longer. Good. That's plenty of time. Come back. You can't run from me. You guys, <laughs> the way they run is so cute, dude. I'm sorry. Uh, stop. Is that good? Did I get them all? New heart seems to have formed. Oh, it's Toga Ticks again. Okay. Hey, guys. Wait, but that didn't. Oh, it, oh, it did count. It did count. Okay, cool. Ow. I'm sorry. This is so broken. Look at how broken this is, dude. I've caught like, I didn't even catch any Togetics before this began. And now I've already caught 10. This is dumb, dude. This is actually dumb. There's only one place where I even know to catch uh, freaking Togetic, and this is not it. This freaking update is so good, dude. Oh my gosh. I love this update. It's literally so good. Okay, where is Mai? Where is she? Oh, there you are, Mai. I was like, where'd you go? Wisp, let's get that Wisp. Sorry, Mai, hold on. Hold on a second, Mike. I gotta, gotta, gotta grab the wisp. You know me. Me and those freaking wisps. Thick as thieves. Thick as, uh, what are they called? The freaking misfortunes. Yeah, we're thick as misfortunes. <laughs> Six wisps. Wow. Cobalt Coastlands is like leading in the wisp freaking grind or whatever. Okay, my, we did it. Are you proud? It seems the survey car really does get the job done. I'm glad I asked you for help. Thanks. I'm also glad we can get information from the Pearl Clan more easily now. Uh, I've, uh, yeah, I've gotten even more information from the Survey Corps to offer my... Professor Lavington and I have been researching these massive mass outbreaks, too. Captain Silene's orders. I'd be grateful to hear anything about, or about anything you've discovered. I'd be happy to share. I just have one little re request first. What's that? Seeker, battle me, please! I need to train more in order to become an even greater member of the Survey Corps. Alright, I don't see why not. I'll be waiting for you at the Ginkgo Landing. I'm taking this seriously, so I hope you do too. Sure. Why not? All right, bye. Don't slip, it's raining. <laughs> hmm, the straightforward passion of the young. Most admirable. Of the young? How old are you? <laughs> you don't seem that old. Okay, so I'm actually very interested in this Akari uh, battle because uh, this is... She said she was at... Sorry, where was she? At the Ginkgo Landing, right? That's over this way, I'm pretty sure. Um... Doesn't it literally say? Oh no, it's down over here. Okay, 
So this is DLC. So that means Akari probably wasn't rematchable in the post game until this DLC. And I was about to say, I was really hoping that she would be rematchable. But now, uh, I guess, or I guess she wasn't, but now that she is. So that's pretty cool. Because I probably would have been like, oh, that's unfortunate that you can't battle Akari, but whatever. All right, speaking of, there you are. You'll have to battle me if you want to learn more about Massive, Ma uh, Massive Mass Outbreaks. Okay, you're on. One the episode after this. We can go a little bit longer, I think. You s uh, you've solved a lot of problems for us since you fell from the sky. But I still have more Survey Corps experience. I need to prove that you can depend on me. Well, I'm sorry, but I'm kind of, like, nearly ranked 10. I don't know what t rank you are, Akari, but here we go. She's got five Pokemon. She might actually be a challenge this time. Clefairy? Eh, I mean, it could be a Clefairy. Well, you know, I'm not complaining. That's fine. Let's go on. What do we got? Level... Level 60. All right. You know what? That's fine. That's completely fine. Uh, let's just... Let's just get this one out of here. This will probably kill. Let's just straight up get our first Pokemon out of here. Don't have to worry about Clefairy. Not that I have anything really weak to it. That didn't even kill. Well, it will. <laughs> It'll kill eventually. Recoil. What can you do to me? Agile style. You have a fairy move? Metronome? Psychic. Okay, that'll do decent, right? Yeah, that's okay. Shadow Ball. Um, yeah, that's okay. And then you die to burn. Yep. <laughs> See a fairy. Okay, what do you got next, Akari? Show me. Star Raptor. I'm, I'm freaking in the shot. Okay. Close combat. No! You got three attacks just pulled off right in a row. That's kind of crazy. Okay, sorry. I just wanted to take a look. How you doing? Whoosh. <laughs> hey, we're battling on the same side. Don't, don't worry about it. Uh, we got prescience. We got prescience every time. We just strong style Thunderbolt. We just, just kind of go crazy like that. Okay, I'm gonna go back to my side. <laughs> See ya, Kari. <laughs> Cree! Okay, uh, let's go for the strong style Thunderbolt because I need to use strong style moves with good old prescience. And this will 100% one-shot you, especially after losing your uh, freaking defenses due, due to close combat there. Okay, what you got next? Prescience is flexing on you with the freaking magnet spins. Ew, yuck. <laughs> Oh, you're cringe, Akari! He's gonna, she's gonna go for it again, I guarantee it. Oh, Drain Punch. Okay, well, Mr. Mime is not a physical attacker, so, eh, you know, not great. We just go for the Flash Cannon. Uh, do we Strong Style? We do. Let's just Strong Style. We need to use a lot of Strong Style moves again, so we might as well. Even if it does, you know, not, uh, or puts us in a kind of a bad spot for her next Pokemon, just kind of get some free moves off, I think it's fine. You gotta have, you're gonna have a Pikachu in the back anyway. Print ball. Yo, evolve your Pokemon, Akari. What is wrong with you? Also, I don't know what it is about, like, freaking Magnezone in every single playthrough I've done, but every time I use a Magnezone in Pokemon, it just, it's always my MVP. Prescience just goes ham and doesn't stop. You're dead. What are you gonna, literally, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna set, switch into somebody else and kill your stupid Piplup, or sorry, your Pikachu. By the way, are you friend of your Pikachu now? Level 62 Pikachu? Quick attack? I mean, so are you gonna get three moves off? You might, you very well might. Bold tackle. That does nothing, but that's kind of crazy. Are you gonna use it again? Okay, I thought she might have. I thought she might do like three in a row. Let's uh, let's go into Hakami. I want to see if I can finish you with Hakami. I hope you don't have that cringe Thunder Wave again. Though. You have Quick Attack, so you very well might have your cringe Thunder Wave. I just don't know why she's not using, uh, like, sorry, she's not using like Empoleon or Clefable. Like, why are your Pokemon not fully evolved? That nearly killed. Yeesh! You're being just garbage, Akari. I'm sorry. Play rough? Oh, you missed. Oh, that's unfortunate. Woo! -hoo. Okay, it's time. We always gotta flex on people with the Leaf Storm. Leaf Storm Strong Style. Get him, Hakumi! That's what you love to see. Get that freaking Pikachu out of there. I hope you're at least friends with your Pikachu now. I know I didn't like you in the beginning, but hopefully now you guys are buddies. Ah, <sighs> what incredible strength. I'm proud to call you my protege. Oh, thanks. I appreciate that. But you killed Alm. Alm didn't get any XP. He's the one that's furthest behind. Oh, poor Alm. You're an incredible seeker. I want to become strong, like you. If I could become a worthy opponent, then I know I could do the Survey Corps proud. Yeah. Big, uh... <laughs> Pikachu, you understand how I feel? If we can understand each other, that means Pikachu and I really can get stronger. And I think we'll start by sharing a nice big plate of potato mochi. Ah, cool. That's the spirit. I'll join you for some potato mochis later. <laughs> oh no, I nearly forgot to tell you what I came to tell you. <laughs> the Pikachu's like, yeah, dude, don't forget, stupid. I'll explain what the professor and I discussed. We think Pokemon are gathering around lingering traces of energy left behind by the space-time rift. But we need to investigate more to learn how those energy traces relate to the rainstorms. 
Oh, oh, I'm here, by the way. <laughs> I've been here the whole time, I guess. I don't understand a word you're saying, but it sounds like you know what you're talking about. <laughs> like, I just, was she just there? <laughs> I promise, I'll become a worthy opponent to you, Seeker. One you can depend on when you want to grow stronger yourself. I'll see you later, Mai. Okay, bye. Look oh, at the freaking Pikachu falling early. That's adorable. Friggin' Pika. I like the Survey Corps. It's good to see young people so passionate about their cause. You talk like you're freaking 50, what the heck? Alright, next we visit the Cornet Highlands. Like, I imagine you're like 30 or something. I don't know how older she is. Or at least, that would be the plan. But I've yet to hear of a single sighting of massive mass outbreaks in the Highlands. Maybe we have to do something first? If and when we do hear of any sightings there, let's meet up at the Highlands camp. Sure. Okay, and that's Massive Mouse Outbreak in the Coastlands complete! There we go. Well, I'm gonna end off the episode right there, so I guess thanks so much for watching, everybody. These little Massive Outbreaks are kind of cool, and I love how we're getting more plot, too. It's not just like, side quest, side quest, side quest. It's literally just like, it's under the request category, but we're getting like a lot of the characters involved. I don't know, I like it. It's really cool. Uh, I don't know, just how like, each character, especially Mai, mostly Mai has like a lot of screen time, but like, like, every little character, like, we had, like, Arezzo, Kalaba, Meli, Akari. Like, every character's kind of, like, getting a little bit of extra screen time. Like, Garrick was there, too. I don't know. So, again, these are going on a bit long, but whatever, that's okay. So, I guess thank you so much for watching, everybody. We'll see if we can finish off the Mass and Mass Outbreak stuff in the next episode. <laughs> Bloody ended right there. How about that? Okay, yeah. So, I'll see you all then. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Have a great day. Bye-bye.